We are back. It's TMC joining you on this Wednesday, just like all the other Wednesdays. We've got it's another Wednesday. Brandon, Austin, and Ryan this week, and you know Steven's hanging around. Oh, what's up, Steve? How you doing? He's a, he's a little shocked at the moment. He got some bad news, uh, so we'll give him time to come around. Maybe eventually he'll uh, he'll snap out of it. But for now, yeah, uh, for now he's just gonna have to hang out, be hanging around. All right. He's just hanging around. So we're kicking off game one with three players. Anybody want to go first on their deck introduction? Um, sure, I guess I will. Um, Sorry, it's going to bug me if I don't. There we go. I am playing Ravaz of the Claw. Uh, it's uh-huh. Rakdos Dragons, basically. Um, he is three mana, says 3-3 uh, three, three Menace, and you can tap him, add two mana of any combination of colors, spend this mana only to cast dragon creature spells, and once during uh, each of your turns, you may cast a dragon creature spell from your graveyard. Whenever that dragon creature spell dies, it, uh, you exile it. Um, so it's just Rakdos Dragon Tribal. I wanted to do something with dragons, uh, and I wanted them to have black in the mana because I wanted to play Scythrix. Uh, and that's what led me here. And that's it. That's about all this deck does. I dig it. Right on, right on. So tonight, I'm finally playing this pre-con I picked up for way too much money. It's the uh, From Cute to Brute, the Secret Ooh. Layer pre-con. It's, uh, it's kind of a gimmick. I like my gimmick decks, you know? So this deck has a lot of gimmicky to it. Mostly it's like... 70% uh, modal dual face or cool. it has transform cards or it has, you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. there's going to be plenty of times where I have to take these cards out of the sleeves <laughs> and flip them around, which is always fun. <laughs> always. Uh, you know, I thought for sure that they would add like 70 of those uh, reminder cards that have like the what card is this? But they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so... Oh, wow. I, you could either uh, take the initiative on that and uh, do it, but otherwise, uh, it's up to you. So, the commander for this deck is Essica, uh, God of the Tree. Why am I taking this out of its thing? I just remember <laughs> that they gave us, they gave me all these like, oh, cards. There. So, the commander is Essica, God of the Tree. Uh, her backside is the Prismatic Bridge, which is probably going to be more used because uh, it's how the deck actually wants to be played. It wants you to play big, expensive creatures or uh, creatures that flip into other things or artifacts that flip into other things. It's got all those uh, juicy Exelon artifacts that flip into uh, lands, enchantments that flip into lands, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, should be an interesting, uh, interesting deck to play. Sounds fun. I'm excited. Ryan? Uh, this week, I'm going to be running back my Dromar the Banisher deck from a few weeks back. Um, he is an Esper kind of creature tempo control deck. Um, not standard control, he's kind of weird. He does a lot of playing his own game and letting his opponents kind of do their thing only to like make what they did punish them. Oh, interesting. Uh, but it really, like, it doesn't just control for the sake of controlling. Right. It's really just trying to eat, like, little bits of advantage as it goes. And then uh, it's no big combos. I mean, I, last time I played it, I did pull off one of the cool combos in it, but... Uh, Surely it won't the, happen again. There, there's not, like, insta-win combos, per se, in the deck. Not really what it's designed to do. Right, cool. is right on. What's Steven playing? Oh, Steven, Steven is having some camera issues. It looks like. All right, all right. So who's gonna go first? We're gonna roll up and see who goes first, and we'll be back momentarily. All right, we are back. I rolled an 18. 
I rolled a five. I rolled a 13. <laughs> All right. So uh, we just stay in this order. Easy peasy. Hey. Easy peasy. It's like we're geniuses or something. All right. All right. Here we go. Heart of the cards, fellas. Good luck. I know now to keep my seven land hands. What's up, Violet? Violet! Good to see you, bro. I uh, love you, dog. My hand is interesting. This hand is awful. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> awful for me. Uh, Mine's kind of slow, but I'm also going to keep it. Mine is yeah, like slow. super slow. So we're going to have us okay, a nice good, slow good, game. Good, good, good. Perfect. <laughs> right, good to have Perfect. you, Violet. All right, I'm gonna kick us off here. I'm gonna draw. Oh, well, uh, my hand got fast all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, um, it would. I'll kick us off with a command tower into a mana vault. Uh, I top deck the vault. Faster. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, cool. I'm just going to play a swamp and pass my turn. Yep. None of that uh, silly stuff like Ryan's doing. I'll draw a card. I'll play. Oh, me and uh Austin, we both need to move our cameras. Oh yeah. Yeah, I are into the last card. Sorry. I'm usually better about telling y'all that. Oh, you're good. I'll play a Slitherborn Pathway. And I'll tap that for a Soul Ring. Damn! No. <laughs> Did you top deck the Soul Ring? No, I had the okay. starting hand. It's the only reason I kept the hand. <laughs> oh boy, man, I'm so behind. Play this deck came with all the uh, pathways, but I replaced it with the uh, the secret layer pathways, which looked oh, really nice. I love the pathways, man. Uh, they're great cards. Hmm. He didn't uh, pay his uh, time license, so now he's kind of frozen. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, Doctor Who caught him. Yep. 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 Don't worry, dude. He's working. He's working triple time right now to pay his bills. He's going to get there. He'll 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 come back to us eventually. Um, I'm gonna play a tapped Godless Shrine. Hmm. Interesting. And then pay one for uh, black mana and play a Knight of the Ebon Legion. Love that card. And then pass turn. Draw. I'll play a mountain. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll pay two mana and I'll cast a Orb of Dragonkind. Uh, that'll be my turn. I'll pass after that. Yep. Untap. Draw. Oh. Did you, did you, did you mean short of the oversell? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant, dude. How'd you know? Since we're pl I'm playing one pathway, I'll play another pathway. I'll play Mistgate Pathway. Also, also just walking all over the place over there. I know, okay. right? Taking going for a stroll, baby. You got them boots on. Got them boots on. Uh, then I'll pay. Yeah, here. I'll tap the ring in my Slitherborn pathway for a far seek. Uh, search your library for a plane. He's doing that ramp over there, Brandon. This deck will five do. color, and I figured he would. <laughs> yeah, this deck kind of needs to ramp. Otherwise, it's a bad spot.
Okay. I'll grab a Anders Lounge, I think. That's the other thing I did. I took out the uh, the tri not the triomes, but the uh, the like cons of Tarkir uh, triple lands. Yeah, the triple lands. I switched them for the uh, the triome lands because they're a little better. Gotcha. Would help the uh, game plan of this deck a little better. All right, you got a code of floating. Do anything yep. else? Um, I'm going to use it. Yep. Sorry about that. And uh, I should have played it differently, but oh well. I'm using <laughs> that color that's floating in this play of my Tiller engine, which would have untapped it. But that's okay. Uh, pass turn. After that. Hey, it's your first, first time playing the deck, right? All right. I'll untap and draw. I do shit like that all the time on Arena, and then I'll just sometimes I'll purposely not play the creature just so I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> Wing Zero Elite says, "Whoever wins this game has to obey my dog." Oh boy, uh, sounds like a rough situation <laughs> over there. Sounds like a bad kink. Uh. We don't have predictions, but if we did, I would put my points on Orion. <laughs> Why's that? Uh, I don't know. I just think he likes being told what to do by dogs. Oh. I forget the joke, but something about calling me a bad dog. I just want to know who let the dogs out. No, I don't want to play something. I'll play a shambling vent tapped. And how big's your dude, Austin? A one two. A one three. A one three. One three. Brandon, go to combat and swing one at you. Ooh, I'll take one. And then, yeah, I think I'll just pass. Whoa, my turn. That's what I like to see. That's not though. That's all right. I'm gonna follow in Austin's footsteps and play a blight step pathway. I'll just be walking everywhere. And I'll play the card that I kept my hand for, uh, Phyrexian Arena. Uh, I'll pass her. Yep. Untap. I had the mana for and Phyrexian Arena, so I was like, keepable hand. <laughs> Everything else can be found. Play another pathway, a bright climb pathway. How much mana do I have? Uh, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Ooh. Let's tap one, two, three. I will cast a Valakut Awakening. Ooh, love that card. Put a number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library, then draw that many cards plus one. Uh, three. Oh, shit. <sighs> Don't look at that. Don't look at Legion's Landing. I will uh okay, I'm pass. Alright, yep. 
go. Play a sunken ruin. I'll go ahead and use my mana vault. Pay seven. Play a cauldron complete. Oof. That's scary. That is scary. And then I guess I'll go to combat. I'll swing the knight at Brandon and Caldra at Austin. Gross. One damage. <clears throat> One damage. Yep. Oof. Okay. Five. 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 Yeah. scary, dude. I think we found us a threat, boy. Yep. First strike, trample, indestructible haste. Yep. XL. First, exile, first, like first it's strike, it's exile. exile, yeah. And then, uh, in step, um, this guy gets a counter for somebody losing more than four life. Yep. And pass turn. Uh, lose a life. I think we'll oh. have a, a bridge sighting next turn. Here. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm going to play this mountain. Uh, and I'll pass my turn. One tap. Draw. Play a jet mirror's garden, which will enter. Tap and tap the clear engine. And I think we're gonna cast Prismatic Ridge. <clears throat> hey, there it is. So at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature, or planeswalker card, put that card onto the battlefield, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And then I will. Pass. All right, passing it back. All right, untap. I'll leave that tapped and take one damage. Uh, go to draw step. Play a city of brass as my land drop. I'll pay four. And uh, play a solemn. Solemn, solemn. <laughs> Boom. I'm scared of Ryan, dude. Yeah, he's got a good start so far. Let's see. I don't know what land I want. Uh... I'm going to go to combat. I'll swing the same because my guy's not big enough to get through Brand <laughs> Austin's blocker yet. What? Whoa, dude. The, That's not very nice. I guess I respond first, huh? E. I'll, I'll respond. I'll pay one and a red. Uh, and I'll cast Thrill of Possibility. <laughs> I'll discard Exhumed. I grabbed an island with my solemn. Thrill? The thrill. What'd you discard? An exhume? Exhume. Yeah. Brandon's got all the reanimators, none of the dragons. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a <laughs> little bit of an issue at the moment. <laughs> uh, that's all I had to respond with, so. 
What do I take? Two damage? You got two coming at you, Brandon. Austin, okay. you got five at you for one more round here. I oh, believe she took. <clears throat> So that'll be another counter on the uh, knight. All right, and then, yeah, in step. I'll pass to Brandon. The knight will get the counter. Now he's a 3 4. Very good. All right. I'll draw. I'll lose a life. And I'll draw again. Okay. Um. One short for that, huh? Uh, so we'll just do this instead. I'm gonna play a mountain. Mountain. Uh, Rivas? Uh, you know, I was thinking about it, but you know, if I don't have any dragons or any dragons in the graveyard, what's the point, right? Um, he does block. He does block, but so do instant speed removal if I really need to. Uh, that is true. Let's see if I can, can I get away with that. Yeah, I think so. Why not just keep... Uh, Feeding into my stereotype, huh? I'll play more enhancers. <laughs> uh, I'll just play Nurse the Incubator. I'll choose Dragon as my creature type there. And I'll pass my turn. After I mean, that. I will say that that Incubator feels pretty good. Hey, Austin, did, did your mm -hmm. Phyrexian deck have an Urza's Incubator in it? <laughs> no, because they're $20 still. I got you. Oof. Uh, okay, at the beginning of my upkeep, I reveal top card or reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal a creature or planeswalker. I put it onto the battlefield and then the rest go onto the bottom in random order. So. Uh, Arlen, the Pax Hope, is my walker. Oh, that's the newest version of her, isn't it? Yep. The Daybound, the Daybound Walker. Right. You can cast them as though they had flash. Oh, yeah. And they enter with a counter. That's nice. She'd be good. She'd be good in holler. For sure. Yeah, she's cool. I like her a lot. And uh, can I see the back? Oh, can. Okay, your backside just adds gruel for a plus two, and then plus O. Oh, she becomes a five-five trample indestructible. Hey, probably there's a lot of indestructible big-ass creatures. I don't <laughs> like it. Yeah. Bro, I got nothing. I haven't even played a creature yet this game. Oh. Six, seven, eight mana. There. Do you, do you have any cards in your graveyard, Ryan? My graveyard is barren. Barren? I've only played permanent. Very strange for an Esper deck, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is very strange. Nobody's got any creatures in their graveyard, right? Nah. No. No. Uh, Who y'all think's gonna win? I don't know. <clears throat> I got no clue. I'll pay a seven for a Diluvian Primordial. I like that card. The only real target I have for it is, uh, you know, Hit Thrill of Possibility. Uh, uh, okay. Brian doesn't have anything. I can't really target him. Uh, so, uh, as an additional cast to cost to cast this spell, discard a card. Yep. I will discard an island. And it draws. And it exiles uh, Thrill. Yep. Okay. And then. I think I'm going to negative three Arlen, create two green wolves. Whoa. Oh, where am I? Insta board state over there. 
Brandon, you're looking vulnerable over there, buddy. <laughs> I know, dude. I know, but don't worry, dude. It's all part of my plan. Oh, it's okay. all part of my plan. <laughs> Especially the part where I tapped wrong. I've been doing that all game. <laughs> Good to know I'm not alone. It's the hidden misplays that don't hit the counter. <laughs> exactly. It's just the ones that you know about that hurt you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, just the ones that keep you up at night. After that, I'll pass turn. Got some Wolf Ooh, boys. One, one closer to my turn. Fun Luckily, tab. Ryan is a threat, and I am not. So I feel like I'm just kind of observed. Remember how we had that conversation off stream about recording a deck just flopping and doing nothing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I got a pretty good source material. <laughs> there you go. I'll draw for turn. Uh, I did take one from my mana vault. Nice. Good. Play another island. Plus, I'm just going to eventually kill myself with Phyrexian Arena anyway. You don't worry about me. Oh, boys. I think it's about time. So, I think we'll go to combat. Uh, Brandon, called your complete. I hold up my end of the deal. I mean, called your complete. Brandon, I'm gonna swing the Knight of the Ebon Legion at Austin, though. Yep. He's we'll a 3-4. Right, Block well, your Knight with a wolf. One wolf. It, in response, I will pay one red, and I'll sack my orb. To look at the top seven cards of my library, I may reveal a dragon card from among them and put it into my hand, the rest on the bottom. <laughs> he was like, fine. Yeah, I can't draw them. I'll do this myself. <laughs> I'll find them myself. Uh, imagine there's not one in here. It's <laughs> just seven lands. <sighs> How big is a uh, culture? <laughs> a five, five. Five, five, First strike, right. trample, indestructible haste. Bro, all the cool kids have 29 life. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> not even worried about it. Who even needs mana rocks, right? All right. Uh, Overrated. You just trading off the wolf. Awesome. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, after combat, I'll pay six. And play my commander. And Dromar the Banisher. Didn't do that last time. Gotta make sure I do it this time. And then I'll go to end step. Uh, since somebody took damage, more than four life was lost. It's another counter. Comes a four five. True that. Best one mana investment there is. All right. My turn. All right. All right. Surely there's dragons in this deck somewhere, huh? <laughs> I will draw a card. You draw your extra card? Lose okay. a life. And I will draw a card. Uh, I'll play a luxury suite for my land drop. Um, there's not even one out here, but I got to put something. Uh, one, two... Three, four. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna. I think I changed my mind. I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna pay three mana, and I'm gonna play Revised. There he is. There hey. he is. Uh. I'll pass turn. Okay. Untap, and we'll do Prismatic Courage, uh, Archangel of Ace, uh, Flying Vigilance, when Ancient yeah. Battlefield creatures I control Whoa. gain indestructible in one turn. When a uh, non-angel creature you control dies, transform it at the beginning of the next upkeep. Actually, it says at the beginning 6-5. <laughs> <laughs> nice little typo there. Yeah. Exactly. Nah. Exactly. Yeah, well, it's not like they're, you know, expensive cards or anything. No, it's not a typo. Yeah, it's just spacing. It's just the, uh, yeah. it's the 
creature indicator for the uh oh <laughs> it just put That's right it. verge <laughs> just put yeah. right on there i'm actually thinking about building a archangel of ac deck I really like the idea i came uh oh i need to draw a card too look at that uh i might have had a mini panic attack thinking that was the eight mana one i did too <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I the only thing I yeah I've only added I only added like three creatures and one was Tiller Engine, just because yeah. I needed to be able to get around the weird claws it has. Uh, let's tap these two. That's not actually. I don't want it to. Ryan's got one land untapped, right? Yeah. I've got three. Oh, you said Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's only got City of Brass, it looks like. I'll do this anyways. I'll, uh, I'll utter end uh, Cauldra Complete, except oh, for getting one land permanent. Okay. Good job, Austin. We needed that. Team yes. not Ryan needed that. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the first of many good cards in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> It just did. Do they have indestructible? That's what I couldn't get through. Now I'm scared of uh, Austin's Planeswalker thing. So what? For for it to change night, you have to just not play spells, right? Well, any player. Any, any yeah, player any player play doesn't play spells. It flips. Yeah. Okay. It's a weird and mechanic. Then it's two I never really spells it. to flip it back over, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll okay. plus one it. Uh, whenever, until your next turn, whenever you cast, or you may cast creature spells so they have flash, and each creature you control enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter. Not that there's really any reason for that. But... You would That'd think there would be something on spell table to indicate, uh, like, day bound and night bound. I guess not. Nah, I mean, bro. Make something like that. We'd have to do something in OBS or something. Yeah, like a new uh, background. Yeah, I mean, all you, you just make so like an icon that shows that it's either day or night. Uh, I'll send two at Ryan. And uh, on the ground. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seems suspicious to me. Okay. Block with all Okay, so they die. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> at the I beginning of my, at the draw. beginning of the next upkeep, uh, Archangel of Basin will uh, transfer. Actually, is the wolf indestructible? Oh yeah, it is indestructible. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. A little trickier that way. Okay. Uh, best turn. All right. Untap. Lose one from Vault. Draw for turn. Any cards you got in hand? Uh, seven. Four. Pay three uh, and windfall. Ooh, okay. Um, in response, I will pay three mana, and I'm gonna cast Sarkon's Triumph to tutor for a dragon creature card. Put it into my hand, and then you're gonna windfall it. Yeah, I want it in the graveyard. Oh, makes sense. 
Here it goes. Nightmare. Who has the most, <laughs> Nightmare has the most cards in hand, I guess? Uh, I have seven. Brandon. I have four. Yeah. I'll pay... Doing responses. I'll pay three in uh, Putrefy Dromar. Banisher. Okay. Yep. Then we discard our hand. Draw seven. Brian's not allowed to have permits. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what dragon I want. Either it's here. I talked about. I got a good idea. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is one of them I'm thinking about. But I got another dragon I really like too. That's like not super strong, but I just like him a lot. Uh, oh, I'm almost through them all. Almost through them all. Not that one, not that one. Uh, you know what? You convinced me. Yeah. The reason we're here. It's my favorite card in Magic the Gathering is Skithrix the Black Dragon. Alright, so Triumph goes to the graveyard. Skithrix goes to my hand. Does that mean we draw eight cards now? No. Do you have eight cards no. in your hand? I do now after I tutor. Oh no, never mind. Sorry, I'm an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Alright, I'll discard. I have a bunch of lands and Ancient Brass Dragon go for the throat and an Infernal Grasp. I discarded uh, Triplica Titan, Journey to Eternity, and Treasure Map. Hey, there's some dragons. Alright, I'll play a Marsh Flats as my land. And that would be silly. Uh, I'll just pass my turn after that. My turn, huh? All right, we'll untap. Upkeep, I'll draw, I'll lose a life, I'll draw again. Um I will fix these two kind of manners we got here. Okay. Uh I'll play a swamp. That might help a little bit. Uh, do I want to keep going down this route? Yeah, this seems fun, huh? I'll pay three mana. And I'll play a Dragon Speaker Shaman. So, Dragon Spells, you cost cast two colorless less to cast. Um, so that's cool, huh? Dragons cost four less? Yes. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Uh, I will tap Ravaz for two black mana. And I'll cast Githrix, the black dragon. Uh, I will pay one black to give Skithrix haste. Um, dude. we'll just do this one. Uh, I'll pay two black mana. Move these. Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, 
uh, two black mana, and I'll play Kuka Show, the Evening Star. Uh, I'm doing the thing. Um, I will swing. You don't. Have, do you have any flyers? Oh, okay. You would. I'm managing it. Ignore my. <laughs> ignore my question. I was going to ask you there, uh, Austin. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's you should got drained. For uh, do you get the? I guess you get the full mana, huh? Yep. Spells converted. Man. Yeah, I believe so. That is unfortunate. Okay. Well, I'll play him again. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'll go to combat and I'm gonna swing four infect in the air at Ryan. All right. I take four infect. Oh, do, 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 do. Pass turn. Okay. Uh, on tap, upkeep, uh, do the Prismatic Bridge. Uh, Kithian, Hero of Akros. Dragons cost four less, dude. Holy smokes. I know, right? And I could play them twice. Uh, draw a card for my turn. I'll play as far as headquarters. That'll tap. How good is the art on Skithrix, though? Come on, dude. I like the. Uh, That's a cool ass dragon. I like the uh, Multiverse Legends art for it. Looks pretty sick. <laughs> uh, where can I see that? Uh, I know I've seen it, but I don't remember what it looks like. Oh, plus one. Arlen packs hope. Let's show me it here. Is that the Japanese one? Is that what you're talking about? No, the uh, multiverse uh, mom ones. Is it on Gatherer? Can I see it there? Yeah, probably. I'll tap my soul ring for Felwar Stone. Then I'll pay this one. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, two. Reminds me of Venom. White and blue. For a uh, Denik, Pious Apprentice, cards and graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Which card is that one? Uh, Denik, Pious Apprentice. Oh, that little boy down there? All right, I got to figure out how to slaughter that child. <laughs> it doesn't stop revise. Slaughter that child. Huh? It doesn't stop revise. It does. It's an ability. Yeah, but it doesn't target it. Cards and graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. Grimaw shouldn't target. Oh, cool. Never mind then. It's okay. Yeah. You just can't be like uh you can't re reanimate. Like reanimate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steven, what's up, dude? I'm glad to see you talking now. Have you any luck getting your camera working any better? You've been frozen for a while. He's got chat working. He's got chat working chat, so we're getting closer, I think. Oh, uh, Tiller Engine's gonna, or not Tiller Engine, but Denik's gonna come in with a 1-1 one -one counter. Yeah. Correct. Okay. That's the only thing with this deck, is it does, it can do stuff, I just don't know what to do. It, it's, uh, <laughs> right, yeah, it's, for sure. Like, like, it's a lot of stuff. The patented Steven soon TM. So, yeah, it's starting to feel like it. <laughs> all right, Steven, with all this downtime you got, we should we should be working on that YouTube video, maybe. Oh, yeah. Speaking uh, of things that are coming soon, uh, when do the Lord of the Rings cards come out? Because I want weekend. to build and play Saruman. This uh, weekend. Yeah, this weekend. I'm gonna build the uh, the Esper Sar or not Esper uh, Grixis Saruman that yeah, amasses cool. work based yeah, yeah. off of looks, uh, yeah cool. yeah I'm building the uh, I'm building the uh, the Sauron of many colors I'm actually building think, like I'm building like three theme decks at the moment yeah I was gonna say I think it might do Schmeagle too the 
Golgari Smeagol looks really fun. He is. Uh, harmonized. I'm probably going to go pick up a bunch of cards. I don't know what I'm going to build out of this hit yet. We'll just see what I get and I'll build something out of what I get. I think I'm actually going to go get some of these cards. Oh boy. Maybe. Get that one ring. You won't have to work anymore. Yeah, but you got to like buy like the expensive packs to get that, right? I'm not getting those. Yeah, that's kind of pricey if you want to go that route. Yeah, no, I don't care anything about that. I'll go to Tunica. Last time I gambled, I went to Tunica. I went to, into the casinos with $300 on my birthday. And uh, <laughs> I got one free drink and I was broke in 45 minutes. <laughs> the first time I went to the casino here, uh, I left positive. Like, uh, I, think I, I, made, I made like 30 bucks or something. I walked in and I was like, I can't use my card. I can't get more money. I'm walking in with the hundred dollars. Right. Left with 130. Nice. I'll hit. I'll swing and it. And the next uh, time I, with... the next time I blew a hundred dollars in like five minutes. And I was like, all right, yeah. well, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm done. That's not I'll a Savannah. I'll swing at Ryan with uh, Angel of Asin. F4. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Four four. Yep. Is that it. And uh, then I'll swing my wolf at Brandon. Two damage? Two damage. I will take two damage. I don't like that thing flipping. That seems scary. Okie dokie. Then I will... Is there anything else? So many things on my board. Pass turn. <laughs> I have to like, keep up with uh, uh, the in, abilities. In step there, I'm going to fetch... Wanted to do it sooner, but in case Austin swing on the ground, I needed to. Yeah, had, I had to make decisions there. I'm gonna get this idyllic beach front. You know, the 25 cent duel. <laughs> hey, I like that one. <laughs> Go down. You just swung the four at me, right? Yeah. I'm at 32. Now. Then I'll untap, upkeep, I'll take the one from Vault. And then, draw, main phase, I get the mana from Mana Drain. That's not good. Team Not Ryan doesn't like that at all. Alright. Gonna pay two here, losing uh, life from uh, City of Brass. And five of the colorless. And I'll play a whole breaker horror. That's why I said it's not good. <laughs> All right. That's why I said it's not good. And then. I use the one colorless. If I was on arena, I'd concede right now. And five. I'm gonna play time spiral. Oof, here we go. Here we go. Trigger hole breaker horror. I'm gonna put Skithrix in Brandon's hand. Uh, sure. All right, and then uh, each player shuffles his or her graveyard hand into their library and then draws seven cards. Uh, Don't like that. In oh. response, oh. I'll pay two and I'll flash in a fairy mastermind if we're going to be drawing cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good card. Austin's like, my deck isn't good, and then has like endless good cards <laughs> in his deck. <laughs> All right, so we draw seven. You shuffle yeah. your hand in, yeah, and your graveyard in, and then draw seven. Okay. And then I'll draw another X. Soul Ring was on the bottom of my library. Obelisk. That is correct. Well, there went my removal for a uh, hole breaker. 
Yes, I was like, I have like a couple options I can do, but once Ryan removed Skidrix, I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can flash my fairy out now. Boom, ba, 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 boom. All right. <laughs> I dealt with all the dragons. <laughs> For now. Yeah, for now. For now. <laughs> we'll see. He'll draw, draw Skitherix in this hand. I wish, dude. I just need a tutor. All right. Sweet. And uh, Time Spiral was exiled. Uh, also, I get to untap six lands. So Jesus. I'll untap the lands except for City of Brass. And then draw seven. Steven approved. All right. Steven, that's exactly how I feel. It's been on the turn. I bounced one creature with it. <laughs> it's been I just hate so that good. card, dude. I it's hate so old records so much. <laughs> Nothing makes me more furious than a whole breaker it's an instant concede for me on arena the second i see a pixel of it on arena you should see how fast i can concede <laughs> dude, i'm out of there dude if they didn't reprint it like a couple times already it would be like a pretty expensive card, I, think. I think it was oh like, yeah for sure ten dollars after when it came out i All believe right. it yeah um, it was i remember it being a little expensive awesome i'm swinging my knight in at arlen my knight he's a four five <laughs> Or five. Um, we got that. Uh, four five. I'll block with my uh, my Kithian. Kithian. Gonna block him with Kithian. All right. Yeah. I'll let Kithian die. It's good at that. All right. I'm going to. I mean, Zavison's gonna flip now. By the way, it doesn't hurt Ryan at all. <laughs> it only hurts Brandon um, yeah, and me to an extent. Is, that is true. Four five. I'm gonna pay five. I'm gonna cast probe kick. Uh short st long story short, I'm going to brainstorm. Except the two cards I put back don't go on top, they go into the graveyard. Okay. And then I target somebody else and they have to just discard two cards. I like that girl. I'm, I'm so gonna like choose that. Austin. With the discard. Two from my hand, eh? Yep. Bro, you don't want to get rid of any, any of these enhancers I got in my hand. <laughs> I figured I've been mean enough to you, but I, we got to start dealing with Austin's board state and resources. So I'll I think discard. that's what I've... Oh, go ahead. Discard sorry. a Ludovic and... Uh, uh, Dana's Climb. Transform cards. I think I accidentally slipped into my old ways in this deck quite a bit. I'm going to cut like half of the enhancers out and just put more uh, dragons. Discard two you've lands. Got a, yeah, you've got a lot of enhancers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I definitely do. I like the enhancers too, though. They're That's so much fun. fun, dude. The one time they all do work and it's like, oh, remember that. It's just though, a, I can't just a, get rid of it. 
It's just uh, a problem. When I, do you're get a, I, get a, I do get a hole breaker off of that. Uh, okay. I could put the Avacyn back in his hand and it doesn't transform. It doesn't do anything to you, though. I know. At most, it hurts me and uh, Brandon. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts me. I'll slightly, put the bridge but... back in your hand. That's no fun. I just gotta oh, replay oh. it. And then I'm gonna yeah, pass turn. Yeah. Sorry, for, sorry for the long turn there. A lot of stuff. That's all right, dude. It was at just the a beginning turn. All right, at the beginning of the upkeep, Evasion's gonna flip into Evasion Purifier, and it'll deal yep. three damage to each other creature and opponent. Yep. Wow. So I'm gonna lose my Tiller Engine and my Fairy Mastermind. Did you draw? Off. Did you draw two extra cards off of that guy? Already, Austin, from the wheel. Wheel, yeah. Okay. And uh, our line right. will make it so that Evasion comes in as a. Seven six. Woo. All right, I will draw my card for turn. I'll lose a life, and I will draw another card. Can you pick up your dice for just a second, Austin? I don't know if it'll actually pick that card. Maybe it will. It hasn't liked it for me at all. All right, so three damage to each creature and opponent. So we took three as well? Yes, I took my three. Um. Okay. Sorry, uh, burning your uh, your dudes. Creatures dead. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. They're dead. That's all right. I'll play a mountain for my land drop. I got lands this game, dude. I just keep drawing lands. Usually, it's the opposite problem. Uh, okay. Well, at least I still got the incubator. It's not all for loss. Uh, can I do both of these, or I'll probably get screwed with a little bit if I try to do both. Um, let's do this. That's... That's... That gives me that. Is that how I want, what I want to do? Yeah, why not? Uh, let's do this. I'll pay three mana. Uh, and I'll cast a Sarkin Fireblood. I always really so. like the Sarkin. Never make him work right <laughs> in a deck. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically just using him to try to find cards uh, for his plus. I mean, all of his abilities are good in this deck. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, I'm just going to plus one him. Discard a card. Draw a card. I'm going to discard... Uh, this mountain. I'll draw a card. That's a card. Um, how much mana do I have left? I've got five mana left. Play that. Yeah. I'll pay. Uh, Four mana, and I'll cast a Scourge of the Throne. Uh, five five flyer. He has dethroned whenever his creature attacks a player with the most life or tied for most life. He gets a plus one plus one counter on him. Uh, and whenever he attacks for the first time each turn, if he's attacking the player with the most life or tied for the most life, untap all attacking creatures, and there's an additional combat phase. Yeah, I like that. Uh, pass turn. Steven asked Austin, uh, what's your deck? It's the uh, the secret layer pre-found, basically, other than a couple upgrades here and there. It's the uh, Essica God of the Tree Prismatic Bridge deck. I'll play a forest. Steven, have you decided any of the Lord of the Rings decks you're going to build? Or build or whatever? Okay, what does this do? Okay. 
I'm gonna play the uh Yes he didn't like Legolas. Figured he'd go for the uh, right. yeah, yeah, we can fix oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna play the Grixis Sauron that amasses uh orcs and the Golgari Schmeagol. Sauron or Sauron? Sauron. No, Saruman. Sorry, Saruman. <laughs> That's the know. one. I'm still Got processing the last set. Got it mixed up. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's only 130 what, 100 and something commanders in this deck or a set. Yeah, 131 net new commanders. There's like seven Saurons and eight Saramons and 14 Gandalf. Hold on, plus one. Somebody said, and I agree, that Legolas and Gimli should have had friends forever on them. Like yeah, they, they had should have said, they should have had just partner with. Okay. Yeah, they I mean, definitely even, should have had partner. It just it'd be goofy and limited, and also because it goes into modern. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. I'd be fine with allowing the the two counter of kills ones be uh, partners, though. I was thinking about that. I'm like, it'd be cool to run them just together. If yeah. You, like, turn zero though. Five. I'm excited. I love the Lord of the Rings. Love magic. Too. This is going to be cool. And the decks look fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll cast Ultra. I'm Ooh, on. I oh, like that boy. one. Scary. I'm going to respond. Steven, look up Orcish Bowmaster. That's the one everyone's freaking out about. I'm going to drain it. Whoa! Holy smokes, dude. I'm gonna respond and yes. within your Hullbreaker horror. Yes. Uh, okay. He can't be targeted. He's a god card. No, it's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, I get a 3 3 beast. Uh, I get to bounce something with the cast trigger on the drain. Um. I tell you what, boys, I sure am glad y'all gave me these front row tickets to the show. Just watch y'all beat the hell out of each other all game while I slowly kill myself. I'm gonna <laughs> bounce each other. I'm gonna bounce Ar- much. I'm gonna bounce Arlen, I think. My Arlen. Yeah. And then uh mana drain is what, eight? The big goes the top of boy? Yep. Yeah, I'll get eight mana. Main phase. Jeez, dude, I don't like this at all. I do Surges not like f- this at all. Five, He's a 5-5. Five, five. Five. Yeah, 5-5. Five, five. Who's got the most life? Ooh, Austin does. You have a flyer? You do. I'll swing into uh, Ryan with a 5-5. Five, five. All right. Pick 5, go to 22. Pick. Pass. I'll untap. Uh, take one from my vault. It's broken in CEDH, I think, is what everyone's saying. What is? The Bowmaster guy. Orcus Bowmaster. It's broken. It's really strong, strong in anything. That and that, uh, there's that common uh, Mirkwood Bats. I think it's freaking Yeah, the Mirkwood Bats, too. Yeah. Maybe Give Orcus Bowmaster Death Touch, uh, Steven. Now what do you think about it? Yeah, it's the reason that Cataract Parasite's been going up in price, too. That's the mono black one drop that reads, if you control red permanent anytime opponent draws a card, deals damage, deals one damage. Yeah, dude, you give that guy death touch, and you're amassing orcs, which I also found out, too, like if you have an amassed deck, like a zombie army, and mm-hmm. you amass orcs, it just adds orcs to the creature title. It's not two separate armies. It just becomes orc zombie army. Yeah, mass is interesting. Never been particularly good. It's not that strong, but it seems so much fun to just slowly build up an army. All right. I'll draw for turn, and I get the eight mana from the mana drain. Yeah, but it's in black. There's plenty of ways in black to give it undying or just bring it back to life after this. 
indestructible. There's plenty of things he could do to get around it being a 1-1. Yeah, and it has flash. Uh, I'm going to play Transmute Artifact. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Easy artifact. to recur. Uh, Search the library for an artifact, immediately place it into play. Choose any artifact in play that you control. Place it in its graveyard. Oh, discard the difference. This is a silly card. Yeah, I'm going to be sacking Mana Vault, which has a CMC of one. And then I'm going to pay eight. To go get an artifact that costs nine. Replicate type. Yep. Oof. Ooh. And it puts it into play. All right. Y'all are That's experiencing the, the strongest things my deck can do. You had Holebreaker <laughs> into Triplicate Titan. Yeah, yeah. We had Obelisk Scout. We had, uh, what is this? This is a... Uh, uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't have haste, doesn't have indestructible, so. Yeah. It's still still scary, but I think maybe we can make something happen here. All right. I like the box. The box is cool. Yeah, too bad it doesn't hold double sleeve cards. <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. I can uh, do single sleeved, but I have a lot of foils. Land for turn, I play a drunk out of comb. Yeah, this guy doesn't have haste. Ugh. All right. Um. You got your mana drain mana, right? That's how you yeah. got it. Right? Yeah, that's how I got it. Yeah. Okay. Bro, you got Mammoth Graveyard in that deck? <laughs> Don't you want to know? <laughs> um, Pot of green. I'll swing three at, or swing four at Brandon. Why? How much? Four. Should I hit his planeswalker, Austin? Or should I hit him? You can swing at the plane, planeswalker. Swing at Sarkin. If he really wants, if he really wants it, then to swing walk with Sarkin. Oh, that's because you can, you can buff that guy. That's not worth my guy. Uh, sure, dude, whatever. Just trying to draw cards over <laughs> here, pal. All right, that's turn. All right, all right, all right. Well, at least I'm alive. Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, untap, draw. I'll lose a life. I'll draw again. Yes, yeah, Stephen. I played. Uh, I played call draw on turn four. <laughs> yeah. I've done all the things that this deck does. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, I and help everybody out here. I'll drop an Urborg. Y'all got some more swamps now. Gooch. Gooch. Okay. I appreciate Let's that. Yeah, you know, I look out for the crew. I really hope that the uh, those box toppers from Lord of the Rings aren't too expensive, but I have a feeling that some are going to be very expensive. I have a feeling if it's Wizards of the Coast, it's going to be pretty expensive. I just want one of those Paths of the Dead. Uh, Cavern of Souls. It's so pretty. Five mana there, huh? Okay, well, let's do this then. We can do both of these things. That's awesome. I'm gonna pay two black mana. Uh, I'm gonna cast Sign and Blood targeting myself. Love Blue it. Loose dude. Draw two. Uh. Might not be a bad time to think about doing something like that. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot do that. Did you do? 
I don't know what to do. I'm scared. That's a 9 9 trample flying vigilance. Yeah. Okay. It's a big boy. That's not good. He's just a little artifacty boy. Um. So in that case, he does fly. I don't think I could do both of those, unfortunately. I couldn't. Ugh. I don't know what to do. Okay, we'll just do this for now, I guess. I'm gonna pay two red mana. I'm gonna play a tushy. And sushi. Oh, that reminds me. I was gonna build a uh, the white version, that white one. Uh, four four flying trample. Oh, uh, oh, ah, yeah. oh, a a o. Yeah, I love a him. That's a, a great card. Yeah. Great. I was, th card. I was thinking about building that and just having it be like a freaking altar deck. Just play him and then like just yeah. attack him constantly. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Do I want to do that, or do I want to do this? I probably just want to do this, and... I'm going to pay four mana and play more enhancers. I'm going to play Crucible of Fire. Oh boy. Dragon <laughs> creatures you control get plus three, plus three. What an enhancer. Back, you know, 15? No. Longer than that. Yeah. 20 M15. years ago. <laughs> 20 M15. years ago, that card was good. <laughs> Bro, what is good here, dude? I got an 8-8 eight, eight and a 7-7 uh, seven, seven now. Uh, I could attack Austin and make it a 9-9. Nine, nine. Uh, how big is that thing? Avacyn is it what, a 7-6? Seven, seven, six. Six? Okay. I will go to combat. And I will swing the Scourge at Austin for nine damage. He gets a plus one, plus one counter when he attacks the target with the most life. Are you attacking with your other dragon? I am not, no. Okay. Even I'm building a wall of blockers. I'm just getting my scourge big enough to be able to block the nine nine. That's my whole plan here. Okay. Uh. I don't want to do that now. Uh, it also triggers. So after this, there'll be a second combat. I'll untap and all that stuff. I don't plan on attacking on my second combat. I plan on just untapping with a 9-9 nine, nine and staring at Ryan. Okay. Okay, good deal. Awesome, you take the damage, I untap. Uh, I do not swing any creatures on my second combat, and I'll pass my turn. Alright, untap. Oh. You draw. Bernard hurt himself, so otherwise we'd all be at 21. 21? Forever 21. Do you know Shaq owns Forever 21? Actually, I heard that like yesterday or the day before. Yeah. Me, I learned that last night. They're like a bunch of other stuff. Apparently, Shaq owns the rights to Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. How does that even happen? How he can you? Them, He's got a lot of money. He does have a lot of money. That is true. Big man, big money. Uh. Shout out Shaq. If Shaq's in the chat watching, shout out. Show love to our buddy Shaq. Two. Three. Steven, you playing league tonight or no? Four. Five. Prismatic Bridge. The bridge is back. Three, six. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Not enough mana, huh? 
I've felt that way all game. Well, except for when my dragons only cost two <laughs> mana. Did you tap wrong? No. Okay. I just thought I was going to get lucky. <laughs> I do think Crucible Fire is one of the cards that's going to get cut. It does seem to be one it's of the so worst enhancers. I mean, it's good for your deck. I like. I mean, it, I, lo it I love it from a flavor perspective. I do too, but it sucks if you don't have any dragons. Mm -hmm. That is the enhancer life. Yeah, that's that's what I'm learning now. Is I need more dragons and less uh, dragons do things. I think you might even just be able to cut they a They print more dragons cut, than Lord of the Rings? Cut a few yeah, enhancers. They did. Either add a couple new dragons. Add a couple more dragons or add more tutors. I'll play a Luca. I think we were both. Bond, Bonder. Who that is? Luca. 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 I think I'm going to. Which one is it? The Sound uh, of the Rune? No, Wayward Bonder. Oh. It's oh, one that has okay, the box gotcha. in front. Got, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. I think I'm going to negative two him down to three. Return target creature card from graveyard to battlefield against haste. I didn't even realize that he was in Strixhaven. <laughs> He's got the fox in the front, so. What's happening? Paltra, is it the top of Paltra's? The Paltra's, the, Paltra's, the Paltra's back. Uh oh, I don't like uh -oh. that. Uh oh, I don't like that either, I'm scared. It's back for one turn though, I think. Yeah. Is it just one turn? Yeah. Yeah. That's from Luca. Yep. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Exile at the beginning of your next upkeep. Okay. That's a good one to bring back. Yeah. Too bad all y'all got nine nines. <laughs> <laughs> He's indestructible. Yeah. It don't matter much. I, I couldn't figure out how to get rid of triplicate titans, so I just figured I needed to get to the same power level. <laughs> there you go. This is the Go, uh, Goku Vegeta battle right here. I thought my I thought my ultimate beast was powerful, but <laughs> <laughs> your you've risen you've your dragon has risen to the occasion. That's a cool dragon too, man. Dragons are so cool. Look at that guy. Yeah, I used to use That's him in my strong. my Scion deck. Well, here, if, uh, if Ryan wants to crack his Titan, I'll swing to Palta and base. Okay. Ooh, nice. Palta is a 4 8. Double strike, vigilance, trample, instructable, and base into flying uh, 7 6. That's a lot of damage, pal. And I'll, you ain't got a whole lot of life up there. I'll block the Avison. Okay. And I'm taking eight from Zatapa. Yep. Ooh. Uh, pets. After you're in step there, also, I'm just going to cantrip. I'm going to shadow the doubt. Shadow of doubt. Like that card. I love cantrips. Oh. <laughs> then my turn untap. Hey, I got rid of that vault. And then draw for turn. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little worried about Phyrexian Arena, but eh. I play a Celestial Colonnade tapped. Anybody else feel like cracking open a cold Bud Light all of a sudden? <laughs> I'll pay one to play an S for Sentinel. <gasps> what? I paid one mana. What? <laughs> Two mana. What? Oh, is it worth it to trade off the triplicate? 
Did you get rid of the Scourge? To get rid of the Scourge, huh? Well, you don't have the highest life total, so why are you worried about the Scourge? <laughs> I'm actually just not worried in general, but... There's that, too. Uh, I'll go to combat. I'll swing the knight at Brandon and triplicate titan at Austin. How big's the knight? He is a 4 5 with lots of mana open. Yep. I'll block with uh, my at sushi. How big is it? Uh, he is a 7 7. Yeah, he's got the big, got that big old booty. Big booty, big booty. A three and give my guy plus three plus three, making him a seven eight at toucher. Okay. And that's it. He dies. When he dies, I get to choose one. Either exile the top two cards of your library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards or create three treasure tokens. I will exile the top two cards of my library. Do you guys see these cards or no? Yeah. I think you do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's Deluge and Deadly Rollick, so... Uh, Gross. Oh, I can't <laughs> find anywhere to put these at. So that's okay. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of life to, to deluge with, but uh, we can exile a triplet titan. That sounds neat. Uh, yeah, pass turn after that. Sorry. Oh, okay. He passes the turn, folks. He passes the turn. I will draw a card. I will lose a life. I will draw on the second card. More lands. Oh, boy. One time in my life, I didn't want to see more lands. Uh, I'll play a mountain. Um, okay, okay, that's five mana to do that, huh? Okay, uh, we'll do this. I'm going to pay three, four, five mana there. I'm going to cast Ravaz of the Claw from the command zone. I like that nobody said in response that means you guys are truly <laughs> my friends. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. How how big are your creatures, Austin? I've got a 5-5 five, five and a 3-4. 5-5 and a 3-4. You can bring something back from the graveyard, though. Temporarily. Mm-hmm. Um, can you though? This oh, is your guy? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think you can. Denik. Oh, he cheated last turn? Denik. <laughs> Didn't catch it. Didn't, Didn't catch think about it. that. <laughs> um, Why does this deck cancel itself out? <laughs> It's almost like well, they were designed it, didn't think about it, and they just wanted to put a bunch of dual face cards in the deck. Do you think Here Wizards actually plays their games, or do you think they just print money, dude? Come on now. They got my 150 bucks for the deck. Yeah, like, dude, what do they care if the, if the game works? It's not a deck, it's a collector's piece. <laughs> Should have known. Um, okay, I'm going to pay two red mana, and I'm going to play at sushi from my. Uh, graveyard. Because that's fun. Uh, I've got three mana left here. Um, 
because I have to, because it's going to go away right now, I'm going to go ahead and cast Deadly Rollick for free and target the Triplicate Titan. Why are you going to be this way? I mean, it's going to go away. You couldn't just kill it? Got it. So I get tokens? I, I couldn't, dude. I <laughs> you couldn't. You sure could have. Could have deluged. You could have deluged for nine. It would been fine. No, I can't deluge for nine, dude. What are you crazy? <laughs> I got to keep my... I just played my commander, or I would. Did you pay one? Uh, pay one for what? Esper? Um, you know what? Just because I didn't give you tokens, I won't. I'll let you draw a card. How about that? That makes up for it. Um, Punished. I don't think I'm going to deluge. <laughs> Punished. All right. I don't think I'm going to deluge. I'm just going to let that go. Oh, they go with exile, huh? Okay. Remains exiled. Okay. Um, I'll go to combat. Um, I'll swing my... Oh, can't swing him or him. I'll swing my 9-9 nine -nine scourge at uh, Ryan. He has the most life. I'll pay two. And I'll cycle on the grift it. Oh, you would, dude. Okay. So it goes to my hand. Also, uh, uh, that doesn't. Uh, you wouldn't get the dethrone because it, it only works for. It works for all players near the highest. Oh, for all players. Gotcha. Okay. I see. Uh, okay. That's fine then, I guess. Uh, I'll pass turn. Untap. Prismatic Bridge, uh, Bloodline Keeper. Gross. He makes vampires. Yeah, he's cool. I like him. The artwork on the back is really cool. Yeah, like I like a, that one. It looks like a disturbed cover. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that. That's sick. That's a Mr. Cool card if I've ever seen one. A card in general. Yes. <laughs> That's what the back actually feels like. Oh, that card. Oh, actually, I have to <laughs> discard now, too, because of that. Uh, I'm going to discard this swamp. I got a 7-7 seven, seven Flying Trampler and a 3-3 three, three Menace. I'll negative one, uh, Luca, to return. Oh, I can't. You can't target. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Ah. That damn Denik. <laughs> Making it hard. <laughs> uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Cast an Erebus, the blinding, binding blade. And I'll equip it to my Deluvian Primordial. Quick creature gets plus one, plus zero when it deals combat damage to a player. Untach it, unattach it, and transform it. Whoa, 13, uh, 13. Yes, what are the? Look at these uh, big ass creatures, dude. I'm attacking Ryan. Did you pay six. one? Uh. Yeah, I'll pay the one. Okay. When, whenever a player loses the game, put 13 plus one plus one counters on it. Holy shit. Yeah, uh, Withinger, Unbound. Flying Intimidate Trample. 13 13. Whenever a player loses the game, put 13 1 1 counters on Withinger. I never got Withinger. Transforming's kind of tricky. Pull off. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I can't even kill it with two of those. I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna plus one. You can't block it unless the creature's black. Yeah, I'm gonna Whoa. plus one. Luca. Why is that, Ryan? Has intimidate. Card card. Oh. <laughs> I'll discard. I thought you were trying to say he was like a wide receiver. <laughs> exactly. I'll discard the Delver of Secrets. Delver of Secrets. I like that card. Always liked that card. It's got a pretty sick uh, back card too. I think it was the secret card for the set. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's awesome. I love that. 
Front Flavor says, Insects always occupied a special place in the wizard's heart. Backside says, Now insects occupy a special place in his lungs, intestines, liver, kidney, <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll leave myself two mana open. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. Pass turn over to Ryan. Untap. Glacial Fortress. Me too. Um, uh, I'll pay two and do a lightning, lightning grease. There you go. shape boys that's turn <laughs> maybe maybe all choose to fight each other uh, I'm surprised you didn't uh, equip the griefs to anything um, yeah I'll do that I'll put it on signal there you go <laughs> uh, the one to, nah, I, well do that. I will untap I will draw I was pondering my imminent Light. death Austin I start making mistakes <laughs> Play this mountain for my land drop. Trying to get a big finale in store for us. I wish, dude. I don't know what the hell to do right now. Um, got big old flyer boys over there. I do have big old flyer boys. I was talking about Austin. <laughs> yeah, I somehow end up the biggest flyer boy. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. If you're talking about Austin, I'm talking about me. I'm going to pay one and a red. Move all these over here right now. I need more space for more enhancers, baby. <laughs> We're going to play a Dragon Temptest. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn. And whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player, where X is the number of dragons you, you pay control. One, you pay one for that? Uh, uh, no, go ahead, do your thing, dude. Um, I like so, the sleeves, Ryan. Yeah, then, uh, I got the, the tidal got the wave. Yeah, the, yeah I wish they had more of these. I will say that these look amazing and stuff. They're a little clumpy when you shuffle. If you if you do stack shuffling, it's really clumpy. Yeah, stick I haven't had that issue with mine. A little but bit. I've heard they have weird uh, quality control issues recently. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me I've see. had these for a, a little bit now. Got some use out of them. It can't do what I want to do. I don't think I bought anything since March of Machines released. Fortunately, I bought two cards from Aftermath. Been building out of my uh, collection. I've been thinking about picking up some more stuff. I got the uh, Lord of the Rings commander. That, uh, I don't have. So I can... I'm pick oh, I do this. One, two. Friday. I'll I guess. use that for double red. We should we should buy pre cons and then make them worse. Four. We should do like buy a pre con and then you got to make it cost only twenty five dollars. <laughs> no, what Six I'm doing it. mana. I'm planning on using the uh, pre cons from Lord of the Rings and building a. Uh, the, all the Lord of the Rings decks on the cards from it. Another Kirk Scourge. Heaps. Scourge of Kirk Heaps. Uh, six, oh, six my flyer. Favorite. Scourge. Yeah, one in a red deals two damage to each creature without flying. And then five in a red deals six damage to each creature with flying. 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the mana to do it once, let alone the two times I need to do it to kill <laughs> Austin's creature. <laughs> um, so, instead, I do two damage to target creature or player when it enters, because I have two dragons, and it also gains haste until it turns, so... I wouldn't shoot the Denevic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to shoot the Denevic. Um... Honestly, I'm thinking yeah. about just shooting the shoot. Or yeah, that guy. I'm honestly just thinking about shooting the scourge. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot the scourge, or not the scourge. What is it scourge. called? Scourge. Not not my card. Your card. Uh, the big scary guy. Withinger. Yeah, Withinger. I'm gonna hit him for two damage. Okay. Uh, and then. And then. And then I've got five mana left. Could do that, but unfortunately that doesn't help me. Uh the, okay, and so then I'm gonna pay two red and two more there. Four mana total. I'm going to play Scourge of the Throne. Uh, I'll do three more damage to the Withinger. Uh, okay. And then I... A lot of dragons. Uh, I will then go to combat and I will swing... 7 7 at sushi. Uh, and a 8 8 Gorge. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Where? At who? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> At Austin. My bad. Yeah, sorry. So I thought that was clear. 7-7 seven, seven at Sushi? Yeah, 7-7 seven, seven at Sushi and a 8-8 uh, eight, eight Scourge of the Throne. How much mana do you have open? I have one mana. Power Blast. Uh, I'll block your Scourge with my Bloodline Keeper, and Withinger will block your Atsushi. Okay. Uh, how big is Withinger's now? What, he's an 8-8? Eight, eight? Yep. Oh, man, I couldn't kill him. Shit. Okay. Uh, Atsushi dies, he gets exiled. Um, and I will... Bloodline Keeper. Create three treasure tokens. Is, it, is his a die trigger? Do what? Uh, yeah, when he dies, choose one. But he gets exiled when he goes to the graveyard, right? When this yeah. creature dies, exile it. It's a dies trigger. It has to hit the graveyard, then it exiles, right? They're both yeah. dies triggers. So okay, yeah. Where's he getting exiled I, from? Uh, it's because it's a, I played him from the graveyard with Ravaz. Ravaz says... Uh, uh, if you played a dragon creature card uh, from your graveyard, it gains when this creature dies, exile it. But they're both dies triggers, so does it matter? Is is that the, a weird wording for a replacement effect, though? When this creature dies, exile it. I don't know. Uh, it's so a trigger. Continue, but then it, it, and Sushi says, uh, when he dies, choose one. Yeah, but if uh, Rivaz has a replacement effect. I change that. Mm. Well, I guess we just Google. Do you get death triggers from? Uh, yeah. Quick check. You Back get check us. Death. Uh, the triggered. last ability triggers when you cast. Oh no. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, the ability uh, that the spell gains. Oh, the ability that the spell gains as the last ability resolves continues to apply to that permanent. 
spell after, after the spell resolves, even if it stops being a dragon. No, it's not it. Where is it? Uh, Does it say exile seeing... it instead? No, it, it just, just says, says when it dies, exile it. Instead? Or just exile it? It doesn't say instead, and it doesn't say from it the graveyard either. Yeah. The, yeah, it's a confusing word. Does anyone have, is it uh, in a Google Revise replacement? That's what I'm trying to look right now. Uh, the both abilities will trigger you can order them however you want the instructions on the triggers given because of revise just like the one from this is from feign death or persist only has license to act on the object that died i.e that entered the graveyard which is to say that it can only action an object in your graveyard since objects lifetime this is it's not a replacement effect it's just a triggered ability that triggers okay the well i'm going to trigger so, his so death works. trigger first yeah. yep uh, i'm going to get three treasure tokens and then he's exiled uh, and that will be my turn. What? 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 <laughs> Act, acti what activate? No. Okay. You know, I it, can't. It, it doesn't have flying. Yeah, you gotta do this. Yeah, I know. Thing. I can't. I'm, so I'm looking for uh, a creature planeswalker. So forest. Two mana short, unfortunately. You know, forest. A lot of forests here. Mantic. Search for as heck. Uh, Beast whisper. Was it He's three treasures, I think, right? Yeah, three treasures. The bridge putting in work. Yeah, it was going to be the uh, commander of my... Uh... Let's see. It does seem fun. So it was going to be two Austin worlds. can swing for 13 unimpeded. Hard. Unless I make my creature black, dog. Oh, <laughs> Holy. You don't know what I can do. I hope it don't go back. Uh, but yeah, it seems like uh, one of us is getting cracked for 13 over the head. I mean, I Does can't stop it. I, I assume he kills you because then his creature gets 13 plus one plus <laughs> one counters on it. it I once. really <laughs> can't kill it. I really wish I had a way to sacrifice the bloodline or the uh <laughs> <Denivik>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And it's kinda of slowing my game plan down. Yeah, it's kind of a unfortunate non bow with the look. Yeah. Two, three. A four for an Arlen four. Another Arlen. Another Arlen. Arlen. Uh, do we have a creature? Did they ever release a smog card? There's a token for smog. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. They don't, have token. they don't have rights to the Hobbit, so they can't uh, make us. Uh, I'll discard a Nissa Baskets here. Draw two. Oh boy. That, that 13 13 about to have vigilance. Yeah, that 13 13 is about to win this game, I'm afraid. Is it my time? Has my time come? I need the meme. With the turtle with the stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. My yeah. time has come. <laughs> my time has come. Take this. Smell <laughs> uh, <laughs> the wind three, as I go. <laughs> six. Seven. For a oh. Butcher of Malachir. Oh, good God. I uh, draw a card from Beast Whisper. Now we can't let him get the sack out. <laughs> now you uh, can't let him yeah. get the sack out. <laughs> I think it's over no matter what I do, to be honest with you. I'll plus one Arlen. Make Withinger a 15-15. Jesus. Vigilance and haste. Jesus. All right, well, Brand's he's still not big enough to kill me. And Brand's still at 16. Unfortunate. Did you play a non-creature spell? You yeah, played yeah. Arlen. Do you want to pay one for it? Yep. Dang. Uh, I guess I'm bonking Ryan for 15. Oof. 15 coming at Ryan? Yep. Does he have any responses? Uh, He's got a bunch of mana. <gasps> I'm going to pay five. Oh. And ink shield. 
No way. <laughs> Vent all damage. And he gets two one inklings for all of the damage. So he gets, what, 15 two one inklings with flying? Yep. Yep. Jeez, top deck dude. like a old mother. Thanks for letting me draw, Brandon. Jeez, dude. Holy smokes. All right. Uh, in that case, we'll just pass the turn. I think he kills us both now. 30 damage. That's a lot of damage, huh? Ooh. I get to play all my favorite cards with this deck. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I love Ink Shield. Back to me. I love Ink Shield. That's a perfect Ink Shield. I, I, I so did not. I, I did like not have it at, at the end of my turn. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right, and then uh, upkeep, no triggers, draw. Uh, play a clear water pathway because lands, you know. <sighs> Vernon has one dragon. Yep. Oh. Swing. Ten inklings at Brandon. And five inklings at Austin. Okay. Um, I'll block one with I'll the swing the nine at Austin as well. Um... Well, I guess before I declare blockers, I'm going to pay one and I'll sack a token for black mana. I'm going to cast Deadly Dispute. I'm going to sacrifice Revaz. Uh, draw two cards and create a treasure token. Damn. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll just block one, and I take, what, 18 damage? Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Is there anything that could have saved me? All right, I'll block your uh, your Knight of the Ebon Legion with my Denic, and then I'll block uh, three of your Inklings, then I'd still be taking four. Yeah, I think so. You're blocking three of the Inklings. I'll gain three life from Denik, and I think your knight's going to kill it. Yeah, he's a... Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to find four anything. Four or five. No, I'm just Brandon, did you pay one? <laughs> uh, Yeah, I had a treasure. I'm okay. not going to do off the dirty. I'll yeah. pay it, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then... Then it died, so what's your trigger? Oh, uh, yeah, you got to sacrifice. Uh, yeah, back one more of these, put them all into one. Ten of those left. Um, second main, I'll pay two and play a malevolent uh, hermit. Who's going to pull it out? Probably Austin. And then... He's got a big-ass dude. Ass... I guess. I didn't have enough to kill both of you, because all the blockers that Austin had. Oh, I drew uh, Crux of Fate off of the <laughs> uh, dispute, too. I was worried about leaving Brandon alive, because he could just wipe my board. <laughs> no. No. Drew uh, the Crux. Let's 
Provisioner. Provisioner. With the O Austin card over there. Austin uses it and it does a ton of work for him. I use it and I like don't hit a land drop the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> they did gave it some new good artwork too. Yeah. It's always nice. Hard. Uh play a swamp, create a treasure token. They give me treasure tokens, I think they did. Blue treasure. Uh, yeah, we saw the problems of my deck, Brandon, once you get it past one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Like, I played yeah. literally all the most powerful cards in my deck, and I'm barely scraping <laughs> I'm like redlining. For sure. <laughs> well, mine is two Luca down to three. Oh no. Phoenix or dead. Angel of Asin. Oh no. So they, everything is indestructible for this turn. Yep. Uh. I mean, surely he's got something. Otherwise, he'd just be dead. What does he have, though? I'll pay four for Harmonize. He's already cast Cyclonic Rift, unless he can get it back. Pay one, and if you want to pay three more for that, and also, do you want to pay one more for that? I'll sack this guy. I'll pay the three and one. Pay the three and the one. Okay. I tried. <laughs> Good. Damn. Seven mana still. Boy, like this one. <laughs> the only problem is I have to freaking pull these cards out of their sleeves <laughs> to read the back of them. They are. Yeah. What an awful idea for the deck. On gimmick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awful idea for it to You gotta make it like the most inconvenient deck ever to play. I think that's the, th the next theme inconvenience. <laughs> I'll pay two for a Valky, God of Lies. Valky. Enters the battlefield, each opponent Ooh, reveals like their hand. One. Like that one. Reveal thy hand, Ryan. Reveal thy hand. I want to see what uh, wants you have. I'm gonna respond. Go ahead. I'll pay four and play come up and come up and Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and planeswalkers you control this turn by sources you don't control. The damage from a creature or sources prevented this way come up and steals damage to that creature. If damage from a non-creature source is prevented this way, come up and steal damage to that source. Okay. And then How many fogs you got in there? Those, I those, one. those two. <laughs> I figured you must have one. <laughs> I have a swamp. Yeah, it's up in the top. Okay, so uh, I discard the swamp, or do you just get to see what I had in my hand? No, yeah, uh, for each opponent exile a creature card they revealed this way. Oh, just a creature? Yeah, I was worried. Aw, it didn't matter. This the uh, come up and 
wasn't going to kill any of your dudes because they are indestructible. Yeah. All I have is a swamp. I draw a uh -oh. card off of Beast Whisperer. Uh... Let's see, Ryan has 10 Inklings, so that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of damage. This needs to hit me with five, six of them? Yeah. And I have one, two, three Flyers. Okay, I'm going to... I hit lands for a good minute, but right at the end of the game, I drew really well. Started getting the heart of the cards there in the Yu-Gi-Oh deck, dude. It was meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. This is a very divinity kind of song, Brennan. Yeah, it is for sure. Not me either. Goodness gracious, I don't really have any options here. A two Brush Kyle, Dean of Radiance, uh, draw a card. Hey, my deck used to play that card. Popped it to something else when I made it in paper. Oh, I like that card. I like it, it just feels like it doesn't do enough in this deck. Yeah. I made it or a Dane instead. Dane, what is that one? Bring it up. I'll pay three for us to say. It's plus five. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. What's to say? To say. To say. Yeah, it's brutal. I don't really have. I I, I know I'm gonna probably get I'm gonna get bonked. <laughs> Not really a way around getting bonked. Yeah, my deck was pretty rough in the beginning. I got to play some dragons, though, so I can't complain too much. I just got to uh, be here. I will say my deck hit all the best cards in it. There are no there are no other good cards in the, <laughs> left in the deck. Everything's been played. <laughs> I'll give uh, Withinger Unbound uh, plus two, plus two, Vigilance Haste, and I'll swing for... Uh... 28. <laughs> right. oh, oh, That's a lot of damage. Okay, I prevent it all, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. He takes That's 28 good. back, but he's indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, untap. All right, no worries, Austin. I tap City of Brass and I untap it. I tap it seven times. All right. <laughs> Draw. I play a Swamp, and I drew an Arcane Signet. Swamp. Swamp. 
Um, got six, seven, eight. I'm going to take one, six. I'll play Dromar. Dromar. Blue, the blue eyes, white dragon. There it is. And then I'll quit the lightning greaves. And I'll go to combat and swing with the fire boys. Okay. I got 11 dudes coming at you. I'll block your drum mar with my Whiffinger. Block. Three of your inklings. Butcher of Malakir, Deluvian Primordial, and uh, Shaltine of Radiance. And I still take 714. Yeah. So. Uh, I lose the game, so it's another 23. <laughs> yeah, you can see me here. I had a Celestial Colonnade too. Uh, I thought I'd at least give you the chance to maybe kill Dromar or something. No, yeah, I was like, all, all the cards I had in hand wouldn't have done anything. Mm. I needed like a wipe or something. That last that turn, damn but ink shield. That good. card is so good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. One of these days I'll get to a chance to play it in Cody. Cody's another deck I need to revamp and, and bring back because that's a, so much fun to play. Right. Good game, guys. Back over. It was actually better than it seemed pretty close throughout the whole time so. yeah 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 that was a fun game i enjoyed it like everybody had a big power spike time yeah i played lots of dragons i got scary for a second brandon would have won if i had chosen to kill austin yes <laughs> yes crux swing done yeah i'm not the biggest fan of how just random this deck is yeah, yeah. i'm gonna do random i'm gonna go like full chaos this deck it's kind of like you don't know you're what you're not sure what you're gonna get <laughs> yeah. It it's looks not, like it's trying it's a, to do a bunch of different things at once. Yeah. It, it's a puzzle to figure out how to it's, win. <laughs> it's, it, everything has like an activated or abilities on it. So at least like everything's doing something, but it's just nothing super crazy. It's not really leading to anything, huh? Yeah. Prismatic Bridge is just a value engine. Oh, for, for sure. Stuff. Yeah. Great card. Yeah. We just let you run wild with it. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Can grow, I, I, I bounced it the one time just to slow you down here. The Withinger was cool. That was yeah, a I've, I've never seen anybody actually manage to do that. Yeah, which, which, which is strange considering not <laughs> <laughs> weird <laughs> considering that I run Dowsing Dagger in so many decks, but All right, that card yeah, works pretty, pretty much the same way. <laughs> True. All, All right, right, guys, it was a good game. I think that's probably the it only was... one. Yeah, I believe so. For tonight, you stuck around for that conclusion that we had there it was uh, I, knew, I knew my points were right i told you brian looks like a dude who wants to get bossed around by a dog i knew he was gonna win it <laughs> he, oh. he turned it into another gear when he heard that come across heck yeah well i can't lose on me up for that rough time <laughs> good deal well thank everybody for watching check us out on youtube uh, check us out on Twitter and come hang out with us in our Discord where we have memes and a pretty cool community. Austin down here is uh, pretty, uh, not pretty good, very good actually at uh, coming up with all of the spoilers for all of the new sets, uh, which is a full-time job. He doesn't get yeah, paid. Yeah, I don't know how he does uh, I don't know how he does it. Uh, but... It's the only dopamine I ever get. I'm being like, oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah so uh if you're ever trying to keep up can't figure out come join our discord and you can see all of the new uh spoilers as they're spoiled all in one place yep you can emoji how you feel about them all one at a exactly. time exactly exactly all right guys we're gonna catch y'all next week for more action uh probably gonna put out a poll this week on youtube so look out for that and Neat. Uh, i'm excited We'll be back with some more fun stuff. I know we're probably going to do the uh, big Gatewatch episode here That'll be sometime fun. soon. That'll be a lot of fun. Another one? <laughs> yeah, the big one. 5v1. The big one. Yeah, yeah 5v1. <laughs>
we can figure out how to do that. Have you guys figured that out yet? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think we might do it through Discord. Yeah. About to track right. our own life, but other than that, yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah, we'll make it work. All right, guys. We'll catch y'all next week. All right. Peace, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.